Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. I'm not going in there. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. My scythe, my scythe, my scythe. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart. My scythe. My Aha. Stinky, but it could be worse. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. Stop, please. Oh, uh, I. Oh, okay. Bye. I don't think that would shed any light on things. Where did that little happy guy get off to? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? I don't think that would shed any light on things. I'm a union man now. the waiter clean up after himself. Mind if I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. You don't want to go... I haven't... I don't think that would shed any light on things. I'm not doing that with Lola's jacket.
it's empty. Nah, he'd see me do it. over there. Hold still, what are you? Dead? Ah, Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Reset Chomargo. What kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle bulls, huh? What you tell us, Gonna Lord? What anger at the name folks give is at me? The Taliashan Boland Watcher. Valesco, Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. MIA here. Well, he's sobered up. I send him to Limbo. Yeah, yeah. You'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told you. Let's him. see what you got on you. Huh, sailor? Are you kidding me? Seaman Anselmo Naranja Ensign Third I gave class. him the Doesn't idea look like in you first place. Doesn't like you to work in the morning. Ah, Tiger can't change his stripes. Hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? So, you still going? this book? No dice, Cumberbund. I'm not using my union card for anything but getting on that boat. I don't think that would shed any light on things. I think it's just picking up my blade. Hey, how about another bomb? Okay, ashes to ashes, 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 to me, to ashes, to ashes, to ashes. Great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there.
Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. Digging through flower beds is Membrillo's job, not mine. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You'll never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Lasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here. And the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. my wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Manuel, I am sorry to hear that you have not heard from your meche. You must be patient. And let your heart remain open. If it is meant to be, you will someday be reunited. Ha! He still thinks I'm in love with her. Manuel, we have found the head of the serpent. Using the computer access you provided us, we picked up a thread that led us to the man who corrupted the Department of Death. His name is Hector Le Mans. Once a small-time racketeer, he has grown fat and powerful by robbing the newly dead. Watch out for the name Hector Le Mans, Manuel. And be careful. Dear friend, our movement now has true momentum, and our numbers are rapidly growing. Much of this is due to our communications and intelligence systems, both of which we owe to you. In light of your contributions, I would like to announce your promotion to special agent status. I, Salvador Limones of the Lost Souls Alliance, salute you, Manuel Calavera. You are a great ally in this noble revolution. Great news. We've discovered a new secret talent of our tiny messengers. We don't know how they do it, but these mysterious birds can actually find their targets just by looking at a photograph of the addressee. To celebrate, Eva has made them all little berets. I'll send you some pictures. Manuel, I am troubled by reports of you buying the automat and converting it into a nightclub. It's fine for you to be comfortable in Rubacaba for your long stay. But I pray you haven't lost sight of the larger goals. It is not this world, but the next in which our true glory lies. I just got this one today. Beware, Manuel. 
For you are in grave danger. Somehow rumor has spread on the streets of El Marro of your presence in Rubacaba. If this information reaches Hector Lamans, he surely will send his evil operatives after you. You must give up your search for Mercedes for the time being. And please, be out of Rubacaba on the next ship. I think he's exaggerating the danger a little, but I do feel pretty stupid for putting my name on the big sign. Buenas noches, comrades. Hey, Manny, no offense, but we don't have time for establishment types like yourself. What makes you guys think I'm so establishment? You smell like bacon and oppression, man. Que? Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one, the workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? Show the man just who makes the honey around here. That does it. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. What are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor.
Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacaba for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in the lead. Listen to me. You've got to take care of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure. It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see. Uh, number 30. Harmin Sedge, Harmin Sketer, Harmin... Ah! 36. Here. Hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. <laughs> 